Dear General Diploma students, welcome to your last lecture uh, in the TEFL course. Uh, this lecture handles the topic of corporal punishment. But before we discuss the main ideas, as usual, uh, I'd like to tell you that uh, the online year work test was cancelled uh, due to the decisions taken by the Ministry of Higher Education. And this means that all depends on your performance in the written test, in the final written test. This means that you need to concentrate, to exert much effort and take it seriously. Um, today's lecture uh, is divided into two parts. The first part, as I have said, is devoted to uh, the corporal punishment topic. And the second part, I will discuss with you the form of uh, the exam and uh, the number of questions all about the exam, uh, all the details you need to know about the written exam uh, when we uh, resume our normal life, inshallah. First of all, let's define corporal punishment. Simply, corporal punishment is a deliberate inflection of pain as a punishment or a retribution for an offense or uh, to keep discipline or reform around the world or maybe also for uh, deterring um, a behavior or an attitude that's regarded unacceptable. Corporal punishment uh, is not only confined to the educational setting it also can be done at home by parents. Corporal punishment involves hitting the students a number of times as a penalty uh, on something wrong he has done. Uh, a teacher uh, uses an implement in order to apply the corporal punishment. This implement it can take different forms like a rattling can, a wooden bell, or a leather strap. And in some cases, a teacher may use his bare hands uh, in hitting the students. Uh, the common place uh, in which the student uh, receives uh, the corporal punishment is on hands. But sometimes uh, it can be uh, done uh, in other or in different parts of the student's uh, body, especially in the elementary school. Corporal punishment uh, leads to a severe debate. There are advocates and opponents to corporal punishment. Uh, those who recommend uh, corporal punishment say that uh, it um, provides an immediate feedback to students and the students uh, do not need to be suspended from school for uh, a long time and uh, uh, as a result uh, they may lose uh, uh, some uh, information or uh, keeping pace with their colleagues, whereas the opponents of corporal punishment uh, refer to or assert uh, the psychological effects of such punishment and they regard it uh, to be uh, an abuse, a form of abuse or violence towards students. If corporal punishment is to be adopted, governmental regulations should be imposed. These regulations should uh, organize or uh, put restrictions about who uh, to apply the corporal punishment uh, from the staff members or school administration uh, members. Uh, also, these regulations uh, should tell uh, the kind of implement to be used for corporal punishment and define the number of strokes a student should uh, have uh, also the penalties or misbehaviors uh, that deserve a corporal punishment and uh, sometimes uh, these regulations also may impose on teachers or staff members consulting parents before uh, adopting corporal punishment. Uh, these regulations aim at uh, protecting teachers from lashing out on the spur of the moment. The fifth idea on the justification and criticism uh, on corporal punishment 
found on page 182-183 are left for you in order to uh, summarize and include in the content of this lecture. In order to be effective, corporal punishment should have a number of characteristics. The first characteristic is that corporal punishment should be immediate. This means that immediately after committing the mistake, the student should be punished physically. If you delay, if you as a teacher delay the punishment, it loses its meaning and is not effective. The second um, characteristic of effective corporal punishment is that uh, it should be consistent with the mistake. This means that you should not uh, exaggerate in imposing uh, something very uh, aggressive on the students because of a silly or trivial mistake. Be consistent in your corporal punishment application. Uh, the third uh, characteristic is that corporal punishment should be rationally explained to students. A student should uh, uh, be convinced that he is a wrongdoer and that's why he is punished. The last uh, characteristic is that uh, corporal punishment should be done by someone who has an affectionate relationship with the student because uh, the impact of this person on the student will make the punishment very effective and fruitful. You should bear in mind that corporal punishment is only one way to keep discipline or to discipline the students. You have many alternatives uh, to corporal punishment. For instance, uh, you can be a role model to your students. If they uh, love you to the extent that they mimic your example, you will not need to resort to corporal punishment. Also, you may think of a behavior modification as a psychological uh, theory or a psychological uh, practice. And in this concern, you can resort to a specialist in psychology in order to uh, give you some uh, pieces of advice about how to modify the behavior of your students without resorting to corporal punishment. You will find in the book many other alternatives and you have to read them carefully and summarize them. As I said before, you should mix between what you hear in the lecture and what's written in the book. Okay? The exam can uh, catch a detail from the lecture or from the book. You have to read uh, the book and uh, also you have to get notes about what's said in the lecture. Now let's talk about the final written exam. You know that uh, you will be evaluated by a final written exam and now we do not have a year work score. This score will be added to the written exam. This means that the final exam is everything for you. As I told you in the very beginning of our lectures, uh, my uh, tests or my exams are in MCQ form. And I warn you uh, from now, uh, the MCQ uh, questions are not that easy uh, to be uh, answered. Okay? Uh, they uh, are not only based on recalling information. No, you will find some questions uh, in the form of quotes from uh, the book for instance, and I may ask you what does this mean, or uh, I may ask you to uh, show uh, some form of uh, understanding or comprehension of what's written. So even if you are opening the book in front of you, you may not, you may not be able to answer the question if you do not understand. Okay, depending on cheating, may uh, lead you to a, a very dark uh, destiny, all right? And the answer uh, notebook, okay, you will find a table. 
In this table, you'll find the number of the question and four uh, columns, A, B, C, and D. All I want you to do is to check the right answer in front of the question number. This is found in the last page of uh, the notebook. Okay, so about that, the design of the notebook is uh, different. You will draw a table. Okay, draw a table, only two columns, question number and answer uh, in the uh, second column. Question number one, for instance, answer C. Question number two, answer D, and uh, so on. All right? Do not write full answers because uh, this uh, test will be uh, checked or marked by the computer. So please do not write any uh, words or any full answers uh, in the questions. Just the question number and uh, the, the right answer letter. I wish you uh, got uh, some sort of benefit from this course and I wish you all a bright future and uh, inshallah I do not want to see you again. <laughs>